It's deep. You're at 74 kilohertz? Yeah. That's why you're not hitting it. Because you're in 74 yeah. kilohertz. It doesn't go near as deep. It could be, it sounds deep, dude. That's, uh, why that's why I'm going deep. It sounds deep. It's just barely hitting it, right? But you gotta dig these zippies up, man. Yeah. It could be a deeper target, right? Yeah. Could be a silver quarter or something, dude. Deep, that's for sure. All right. It's right there. It's a deep target. It's an iron. Iron. I just saw it. It's a freaking nail, dude. That's why my day was, that's why this wasn't hitting it. Yep, that's why the day wasn't hitting it. Because it was freaking iron, man. That'd be a good detector if you're building a house. <laughs> if you're building a house, so you can find all the nails. <laughs> Jim. That, that nail up deep. Yeah, the Equinox picks up nails deep, dude. <laughs> Another one? This one's a lot better target here. It's hard to pinpoint, though. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Freaking junk. Somebody got their teeth knocked out for, <laughs> for trying to dig that. This could be another nail. Equinox versus the Deus right here, man. Against junk. some junk, right? Okay. Junk. It's junk right there. It's a nail in, the in there, dude. Yep, see how it's hitting high? Yeah. It's giving you high tones on it? Mine giving you nail grunt. Yep, nail grunt, right? Huge difference between these machines, man. Huge difference between these machines, man, and the iron. When you're dealing with iron. What is it? It's some iron. It's some junk. It's, it's a knob. No, it's a knob to something. Some iron. Right? Anyone out there want to buy a mine lab? <laughs> Let me know. Jim, you've only had this detector one day, dude. You want to get rid of it now? <laughs> Damn, dude. Here you are, target. Here's a target. That one would be good on. No. No, it's going to be foil. It's junk. Can't believe it didn't hit it. I don't target. have my iron on. That large is junk. There's a reason why I don't have my iron on because it makes the tones really bumpy, right? It makes your tones tones really jumpy. If I'm you have the buy iron. A, uh, Jotec, just for the hell of it. No, oh, a Jotec. He's fun to play with. Oh. Come on now. I can't pinpoint it, so. Okay. Grunts. Hear the grunts? Yeah. It's junk, dude. Yeah. <laughs> Give me high tones on the Equinox, right? I'll even try, I'll even try uh, field one, or park one right here. I would definitely dig that too. What? I can't pinpoint it. See, I can't pinpoint it. Right? It's not even pinpointing. It's junk, dude. It's not banging it, so it's junk. But I just want to show you the guys the reality of the Equinox, what I've experienced. Make a lot of money without detecting those scrap metal. <laughs> That's scrap metal, Jim. <laughs> See, banging signal down there? Oh, yes. That's a nice nail, I bet. It's a freaking nail, dude. In the sidewall. It's obviously a nail. There right it there. is. Junk. Right. Put a quarter in there. Hold on. Oh, I won't hit it. I don't. I don't think I have a quarter. Do hey, I have a quarter in here? Go. You got any coin? <laughs> no. I'm I'm swinging the Equinox, dude. Oh, you think yeah. I have any coins? I have a quarter right here. Put it in there and see right what Flat. It's not going to hit it, dude. It's not going to hit it. It's not going to hit it. You try it first. No, it ain't going to do it, dude. No. Sounded like junk, right? Sounded just, just the same as, as the, uh, that nail, right? 
Just a little coil in the hip. You're in 74 kilohertz too. If you drop your, your uh, frequency down to 14 kilohertz, it might hit it. I'm in park one. My gain's at 22, right? Iron bias at three, F2. Zero discrimination. Or actually, I think one, one discrimination. Look at that, banging it. Not really. It's not doing very good. Iron. Yeah. It's hitting a little teeny bit, but it sounds junky, right? It sounds junky, All right? Because I just buried it. You, you can't it expect you you most machines just will not hit that, right? Even if I have the big coil on the dais here on the Equinox, it ain't gonna still ain't gonna hit, right? In our hot soil, we have hot soil here, so and it's kind of wet today too. So. Once a coin sits there for a while in the ground for 20 or 30 years, you can hit on it a lot better. You know, you can spend a lot of time on a target rotating and rotating and rotating and backing your coil out and pushing your pinpointer and lifting your coil up. And you just waste a lot of time on a target that you're not going to be digging out, right? If you can't hit on it right off the bat, bam, 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 right? Just don't dig it up. And I just find myself with the Equinox, you know, if it beeps, I just want, I want to get a better target out of it, right? And I want to work it and work it and work it until I get a solid tone and I dig it out. Man, it's nail, right? With the, with the Deus, I don't do that, man. Jim just said he's never dug a nail out with his, uh, with his Deus. I think he dug a couple of, of them out. Oh, I just stabbed it. It's too late. It's too late. I stabbed it already. Good target. Yeah. You're, you're getting a lot of EMI from, yeah, from my... Watch a big old ring. <laughs> yeah, Sounds pretty pretty tight here, so... I'm probably cancel out. It does sound like cancel on the day, though. Deep, that's for sure. Yep. Hands law, right there. Told you. Yep. The dais gives you those aluminum tones, right? It gives you that junk tone. I still dig up junk tones, though. I mean, I dig it up with any of my detectors. You want to dig the cancel law out, right? If you're not digging cancel law out, you're not going to get much gold, right? It's just it's fact. Nope. See that high tone that you got on there? Every time I post a video, when I talk bad about the Equinox, I lose a lot of subscribers, right? <laughs> I get a lot of thumbs down from those uh, my lab users. You know, it's just a reality check, right? You know, Jim's been detect detecting for 40 something years. I've been detecting for 28 years. And, you know, when you first use a detector and if you're digging up a lot of junk, that's good. That's really good. But if you're digging nails, I'm sorry, man. There's machines out there these days that just reject the nails, right? Several machines. Um, the Equinox is horrible with those nails. You know, I, I talk to a lot of people who swing an Equinox. And if you're digging up nails, man, go to a different machine and see how much less junky targets you're gonna be digging up right and it's always the deep nails that trick you you know because you got to be digging up those junky targets man if you're not digging up those scratchy junky targets you're not going to get much deep jewelry right or even jewelry on the surface right and you can kind of tell with when it's iron with the dais but um or with the equinox but in most cases you know if you're digging up iffies with the equinox you're going to be digging up a lot of nails just a lot of nails you know, there's just a reality check here, you know. Jim is has uh, just bought this Equinox, and he likes it, but, you know, the, the nail things, the, the nail thing. If you want to dig up nails, he would just go back to his MX-7, right? He hasn't dug up any nails with that Deus, and he's been killing it. He's gotten, a, he's gotten more than one ring a week, 
right now with the dais since he started using it. Um, his third day, he got a gold ring. His seventh day, he got a gold ring. He's gotten three other rings on top of those two gold rings. And he, the coins, the coins with that machine, he's just been just spanking them out. I mean, it's unreal how many coins Jim is getting with that dais. You know, he swung around the, um, the Equinox for a few minutes this morning, and he said it's a foil magnet, right? I know that, but it's also a gold ring magnet too. The Equinox is deadly on those low conductive targets, man. It can just pinpoint those low conductive targets very, very well. With those nails, you know, it bolts on those nails, and then you can't find the nail. You have to dig off the side, you know, so you spend a lot of time digging out nails. But with the dais, Jim has just been killing it. I mean, just been killing it. You know, I hate highlighting one machine over another one, but it's just reality, right? I mean, a lot of people buy the, the Equinox because it goes deep. It does go deep, but you have a lot of issues when you want to go deep, man. You're going to be digging up a lot of deep junk. I like getting a lot of gold rings. I like getting a lot of rings, jewelry, and a lot of coins right on the surface. Because 90% of the stuff that you dig out, it's going to be within just a few inches on the surface, right? All, pretty much most of the gold rings that I find are within five inches deep, right? I don't dig too many targets deep, especially with the dais. And I've got a lot of gold rings with that dais this last year. A lot of gold rings. You know, I've had a lot of live dig videos, um, way more live dig gold rings with my dais than any other machine that i have and i've only had the dais for seven months but you know enough about the how good the dais is the equinox is a lot better in clean ground you know the dais or, or that the equinox can go a lot deeper than the dais but the dais rejects all that junk that huh i'm already reading the headline what equinox 800 used one time for sale for sale Jim. don't sell it dude <laughs> you might as well get one of those sweeping magnets huh yeah. one of those rolling magnets yeah, yeah. I, I don't want to i don't want to lose too many subscribers on this video this but... get a magnet and find all that shit that we can find. you like you like the dais better than the equinox now jim yeah. i like my mx7 better really? jim likes his mx7 better than the equinox so far right just because he, he's used the, the uh, MX-7 for a lot of years. No better than MX-7, it finds the same stuff. Right. All it is, a metal detector. That's what it is. Yeah. A metal detector. Yeah. It's all what you want the beeps to sound like. If you want, if you want to be hitting on a lot of deep targets, the Equinox is the way to go. But when you start digging deep, you have a lot of issues. Just like I said, you have a lot of other issues. Um, a lot of iffy tones, a lot of nails, a lot of um, mispinpointed targets. You have to dig off the side, you know, um, and it just takes a lot longer to pinpoint the targets. Yeah, if you get those high tones on nails, yeah, you're, you're going to be digging up nails, nails, right? You're going you're to be investigating a lot of high tones, you know, so you're going to be spending a nails lot of time. Everywhere. If you're going you're gonna to be spending a lot of time rotating around those nails and finding out their nails, and you're spending a lot of time in that area, and you're not going out to the area that has the good stuff in it, right? So you're 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 getting slowed down by the iron, right? And you don't want to get slowed down by iron. You just want to sweep over the iron and know that it's give you a grunt, you know? The Equinox, I don't have the iron on because, the, like I said, the iron gives you bumpy, really jumpy tones on those uh, non-ferrous targets. And I don't want jumpy tones. I want a solid tone, bam, right when I'm swinging over fast, like the Deus or like the Simplex. Um, the Simplex is kind of rough. Actually, I think the Equinox is the best metal detector made. If anyone wants to buy it, give me a call. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Don't give them uh, misleading information. There is no best detector, you know. There is no best detector. The best detector that you have, or the best detector on the market, is the one that works best for you. If you're trying to sell it, it's the best. It's the best. <laughs> He's not gonna sell this metal detector. Well, thank you for watching. Please subscribe.